Hello and welcome, Carlos here from Everything Tech and what I've got for you today is another tutorial on GarageBand for iPad due to popular demand on my other video. I will leave a link in the description below. It's called uh, How to Make a Quick Song in GarageBand for iPad. Uh, I'm going to teach you today how to um, do the manual drums and I'm going to try and do a series on this with all the instruments and how to do them manually but do it, do them doing them incrementally so you do it with um, say the snare first and then the hi-hat and then the cymbal and you know you you add each thing separately so you won't be confusing and you won't have to play everything at the same time like you, you know you could play a normal drum set uh, so let's get started try to make this video as compact as possible but you know these videos take a little bit to explain I'm trying to do them for uh, everyone to understand uh, so uh, let's get started so first launch your drums app and obviously you could go you could go and just play like uh, like this something like that obviously the the angle that I'm playing this is quite awkward but so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna teach you how to do it in the most simplest way and you will have an original score instead of going into uh, the automatic drums that you add the instruments one by one and you you know sometimes it's not exactly as you want it. you want to make it a little bit different so you know it won't be everything the same like if you're trying to do like a soundtrack for a video on YouTube then you'll be able to use it and and be an original score instead of you know being like somebody else's so first thing you're gonna do is you need to have like some sort of like rhythm so you can add all the other things in so each time you record you'll let another element and then once we finish this video you will have the complete drum set it looks like you're playing on a drum set it's, it's quite cool the way that it's done so let's start recording so so we're adding a snare So as you can see, now I've recorded just a snare, but the bar hasn't gone blue, it's still red because it's still recording. So now I'm gonna add something else, like this ones, hi-hats. So as you can see, now I've got the snare and I've got the hi-hats. So let's add a kick next time. So as you can see, it's not perfect, but it gives you an idea. You can re-record it a few times. Say, uh, you want to perfect just the kick. So what you do, you just stop, stop it now, and then uh, click on the arrow there once, and then that's it, your kick is gone. The recording of your kick is gone, but the rest of your recording, the hi-hats and the snare is still there. So all you need to do it again is just click again on recording. Sorry, no, that didn't work out. Okay, let's go back to the beginning and click again and twice. Let me just hear it. No, it's still there, 
So let's. Here we go. So you know you might have to click a few times. Don't click too many times because uh, it's going to delete your snare and your hi hats as well. So you've got to be careful. But the kick is not there anymore, as you can hear. Okay, so now I'll go back to the beginning and then just click record and you're going to record the kick again until you perfect it, until it, you, you might not get it the first time, but at least you're not concerned about keeping time with the snare and the hi-hats at the same time. You're just thinking about the kick so you can do them all incremental, like in individually, and you can record the whole track like that and you can obviously copy the track, but you can modify the track or it can start with just uh, say a piano and then you just go to the right and then you introduce the next track but let's carry on recording just this uh, kick So we've got a rhythm now, uh, we started with nothing, we introduced the snare, we introduced the hi-hats and now we introduced the kick and now let's just go and introduce some other um, elements. So we keep on adding things. We obviously don't want to overload it. You can start, say, one track. You start very little with, with just uh, the snare or the hi-hats on their own. And then you start incrementally, uh, track after track. Just, just duplicate the track and add another something to the next track. And you, you uh, build up the drums instead of having to play them all at the same time. Finalize, we add a crash. It's obviously very basic, but it will be different from anything you'll add on to the automatic drums. This is my first video in this series. I'm just gonna stop this. The next time I'm going to do a different instrument and a few tricks and tips about the, the instrument and things that I've picked up along the way. And uh, I hope you like this series. If you do, please leave me a comment below, subscribe, rate the video and uh, I really appreciate your, your input. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.